down is brutal on this thing. <laughs> you know, that's dark for you. Welcome to the episode of Jay Leno's Garage, the vehicle we're featuring today. Uh, pretty amazing. This is a 2023 AMG G63 four by four squared. Is that close? It's exactly the name. Exact. This is Dimitri Silakas. He is the CEO of Mercedes-Benz North America. Congratulations. Uh, very prestigious title, very prestigious job, and a big job. You know, it's funny. I remember 20 years ago when these came out, nobody ever knows what's going to be successful. They said, we'll bring a few into the States, see how they do, but it's limited. But it's just become a huge hit, hasn't it? These are extremely popular vehicles, aren't they? Absolutely. G-Class has a history of more than 40 years, but you're right, the G-Class has become especially a top car in the U.S. Actually, U.S. market nowadays is the top market in the world for the G-Class. Right, I mean, that's, and it's funny because I see them on Hollywood Boulevard. People never go at 25 miles an hour. They've never been off-road in their life, and they're just detailed to the max. I mean, they look like this. They all look showroom new, and it's really meant to be a hard-working, industrial sort of vehicle, isn't it? Absolutely, and yeah. you can hear them when they go down the boulevard, right? <laughs> so the roaring V8 AMG engine. I know, I know. And of course, the connection with AMG, you know, I was at the AMG factory, I guess 20 years ago, and it was quite small and it was all guys hand assembling motors and now it's become sort of a separate arm of Mercedes-Benz, fair to say? Absolutely, yeah. it's our performance brand. Right, so, right. And uh, you're absolutely right, the engine which this vehicle is bearing is a V8 AMG engine and it's handcrafted. So every engine has the name of the man, the engineer who assembles the engine. You see, I mean, I love that. I, that, I always find that fascinating. And the number 6.3, has become so synonymous with Mercedes-Benz. Going back to the early 60s when the 6.3 was in the 600, they then put it in the 6.3 sedan, which made it the fastest four-door sedan in the world, and probably my favorite model of Mercedes-Benz. In the same way, Hemi became synonymous with Chrysler, right. the number 6. Point, is it actually 6.3? It's probably 6.2, isn't it? Something like that, the it's, actual. It's a four-liter V8 engine. Okay. Uh, on, but it's, it's really the heart of the AMG. And this right. is the engine which goes in all our uh, 63 AMG models. And what kind of horsepower are we making here? This is uh, 567 uh, okay. horsepower. It's enough. It gives five seconds or even below five seconds for, for zero to 60 miles for a six plus thousand right. pounds. Wow, wow, okay. It's pretty so heavy. three tons, okay. And just bulletproof. And you know, it, it's fascinating the idea of you take a sort of um, off-road vehicle, but you give it all the luxury of the top-of-the-line sedan. Because quite honestly, the roads in California are so bad, this is, <laughs> this is what you need to get over them. I mean, it, it's, just, it's just amazing. I, I love this color, too. It, kind of, it matches my denim. I kind of like this a little <laughs> bit, yeah. Uh, and how many of these do they produce a year, would you say? This is a very special model, a special edition, which we just launched. Yeah. Uh, this is going to be uh, pretty, pretty limited for the next couple of years. Right. Uh, but uh, I would say the biggest chunk of the production is coming in the U.S. We started since a month, yeah. and it's already a big success, I can tell you. Is California the biggest market for the G-Wagon? Absolutely. Yeah. Southern California is the biggest market for, for the right, G-Class. Right. The nicest, warmest, most tame climate for the most heavy-duty powerful vehicle. You think uh, Alaska or something would be a place, but it's four-wheel drive or two-wheel drive, correct? It's permanent four-wheel drive. Oh, it's permanent four-wheel drive. Yes, okay. and uh, as I said, it's a special edition, so it's four by four by two, because as you see, it's pretty elevated. Right. It looks like a monster truck, I would yeah, say, yeah, right? Yeah. But uh, it's, it's still very easy and very nice to drive. Yeah, I, I, I just like when the Germans do their version of American stuff. It's monster truck, you know. I remember when the when the cup holders, the Germans fought the cup holder 
for years. Why would you have a cup in your car? Why are you drinking? You should be driving the car, not drinking soda. Not drink. But America, and then when they developed a cup holder, it was the most complicated. It came up, it turned around, right. it went like this, it gripped the cup, it held it firm. It, did, it, it just always made me laugh. When, when they commit to something, they, they really do. They really do. How many speed transmission do we have here? Nine, nine speed automatic transmission. Okay, nine speed, okay. Yes, with three differentials. So you can lock front, rear, or even the middle differential, so you can go basically everywhere. With Very good. Okay. Can we open the hood? Let's see what, yeah, absolutely. what we have here. Let me see, where is it? Oh, here it is. You almost need a step ladder to see in here. So it's well, not that you can really see anything, but there, there's the name. Who built this one? This is uh, Ernesto Arnicio. Yeah. That's his signature. Ernesto, there you go. That's it. Ernesto That's built. That. So if you got a problem, hey, call you go call see Ernesto. Ernesto. He, yeah, he'll come take care. But you know, I like. I think people like that personalized. I mean, I know I do. It, it just sort of gives you a connection with the vehicle. Uh, obviously, you know, Mercedes are just known for extreme quality. I mean, look at the build quality. It's just, just amazing. And boy, they, they get it in there, don't they? And you got a huge brace across here. Basically, the design of this vehicle has not changed over the years. It's yeah. the same square design, which makes it unique and timeless. Huh? Right, right. But the technology which the vehicle has has been developed, and it's obviously uh, top of what we can get today. Because the first was the first G wagon sort of built for military purposes. That's how it started. Yes. And, and then civilians want to civilian farmer use for for, for Europe. Uh, all the tough jobs were built. Uh, for the G-Class to do. Right. But over the years has become also more for civilian use. All right, not that we can really see too much in there, but you get the idea, but it's kind of cool to see the thing right there. Let's see, let's bring this down again. Hands off. What else do we have here? Okay, no chrome, I like all the blacked out. That's very nice. Uh, I would say the special, the wheels. Huh? Oh 20, yeah. 22 what? inch wheels. Okay, they're 22s, wow. Okay. 325. Boy, that's a big tire. And those brakes look massive. How many piston calipers are those in the that's front? That's four. Four piston, okay. Twin turbo. Uh, luxury interior. I mean, this looks, it looks like an S, it is an S class, basically, isn't it? It's inside. It, it is, it has all the functionalities of an S class, obviously, but on a higher level. Right, <laughs> right. right. And uh, boy, this, and you, boy, you have to step up to get you in have, this. You thing. can hold the door exactly. And you step up that way to get in. Okay. Now, next to a normal G wagon, this is actually quite a bit bigger, isn't it? It's it's taller, but yeah. the interior of the car is exactly the same. Right. So the, the basic difference is you're higher up. Yeah, I mean you're really higher up. This is like a two-story car here. Absolutely. <laughs> you, know, you can't say. And you know it's so funny because. You'd think it'd be intimidating, but I, I meet so many women that like it because they feel safe. You know, they're up high, they can see, they, you know, the kids are in the back there, and you know, they can just step over other cars, you know? They, 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 they say it gives them a feeling of security. You'd think, oh, you, you might be afraid to drive such a big car, but no, it's exactly the opposite. And, and that's a big step up, isn't it? It's a big step, yes. Yeah, and, yeah. But it drives as smoothly as the normal yeah. uh, G63, so it's only higher bigger, more impressive. And what do you got, like 20 inches, almost two feet of yeah. ground clearance in there. Right, just very impressive, of course, you can sun, and they all come fully equipped, right? Every, right, everything, right. They're all the same. And in special colors. We have four special colors for the G, uh, four by four by two, right. uh, which are exclusive, obviously, for this, uh, for this vehicle. Lots of carbon fiber, lots of other designs on the outside, uh, additional lights, so it's, it's a better equipped, more exclusive car. Are these as popular in Germany as they are in the United States? U.S. is unique on that, yeah, and especially yeah. Southern California. Yeah. So they're popular, but more for the use. Uh, as you said, uh, not much off-roading in the in, in the in the U.S. But uh, and this is like the rap star dream car. All all the big rap stars have the G wagon because it makes a statement. It's big. It's powerful. Yeah. Ex exactly. Yeah, it yeah. Makes, and it's exclusive. And uh, it's, it's exclusive. It's, it's, yeah. It's pretty unique. It's pretty well, unique. And it's cool. design. It's standing out. Colors, interior, exterior, it's quite unique. Well, congratulations on the uh, promotion to 
to the top job. Did you ever think when you started work for Mercedes-Benz that it would move so quickly? I never thought I would move so quickly and, uh, and into U.S., but I must say, since I traveled a lot around the world, there was always one next step to take. Yeah. Uh, I've been 31 years at the company. Oh, uh, wow. Out of which 60 years outside of my country. I'm Greek. That's my, right. my origin. Oh, That's really? A Greek? I wouldn't have guessed that. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> now, what did you, when you started, what, did you start as a salesman? Did you start as an executive? Did you start as a mechanic? What did you start with? I started? started at Mercedes Benz uh, back in 92 as a, as a management trainee. Oh, okay. And uh, my first uh, 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 real job was in the, the marketing department. Right. And then I went up the ladder in different areas, but have worked basically in every um, area of the company. Well, now you're at the top of the ladder, so there you go. It's, it's, uh, I'm pretty happy to be in the U.S., a big market, lots of challenges, but also a great country to be and live. Well, it's a great company. I mean, you guys make a great product. Congratulations, my friend. Thank you, Jay. Very good. Thank Get you. Up, uh, Thank I know you. you've got to run, and, and you're going back to Germany right now, correct? Yes, okay. that's my next step. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, you're on the road all out. the time. Well, I'm going to drive this around and... Uh, I'll let you know what I think, but I think I'm going to be impressed. I'm sure you'll enjoy it, especially right. how other people look at you when you drive this car. <laughs> yeah, I can yeah, tell you. I know, I know. Well, thank you, my friend. Once thank you, Jay. Again, thank you. Good thank being you. with you. All Thanks right. a lot. Thank you. Well, I'm going to let him go back to Germany, and I'm going to take this for a ride. You know, if you're one of those people that wants to feel secure in a vehicle, boy, this is it. I mean, built like a tank is really, I mean, it is, it basically almost is a tank. You know, the G-Wagon was originally a military vehicle, and then of course, like a lot of military stuff, it gets sort of redone for civilian use. And you know, you put the fancy interior, it's a full S-Class interior in here. I mean, it's quiet, even with these big tires. I mean, I hear a little tire noise, but it's certainly not intrusive at all. Uh, I mean, every, everything is massive, massive A-pillar, sunroof. I mean, you got everything you could possibly need. You know, it's funny with power steering and all the amenities, it really does shrink around you, but it is, it is a huge vehicle. And you really need almost a stepladder to get into it. I'll bet the dealers do it huge business and aftermarket uh, you know those steps that come out like on the broncos and the suburbans you know you open the door and you need step comes out running board whatever you want to call it i think you almost need it in this because you really have to leap up to get inside this thing and you make a statement when you, when you pull up in front of a place with this <laughs> Train's the only thing that's as big as this. I mean, I can't imagine how much sound deadening is in this thing. <laughs> it, it, it pulls. You know, that's torque for you. I mean, you're moving well over three tons here. But when it kicks down, it, uh, yeah. Ernesto did a good job on this engine. It was kind of fun going to the AMG factory and just seeing each person build their own motor, you know, and then put their nameplate on it. That's, that's, that's kind of neat. But it is fun when that gear kicks in, watch. <laughs> have a huge greenhouse. These windows are enormous. Windshield nice and big. You know, you don't feel like you're sitting in a tank. You're not looking through some, you know, cut down thing here. Uh, and you're so, you're so high up. It's like driving the second story. That kick down is brutal on this thing. It's a funny when you throw it into a left or right hand turn, these side bolts come up and sort of grab you and push you into the center again. Pretty neat. 
Something's kind of cool why it's able to sit so high. They have the, call, I guess they're called portal axles. Uh, they come down at an angle. We have a GoPro under the car, we'll show you what that looks like. Then it allows you to get this kind of ground clearance. Dimitri said it's the way people look at you when you drive this thing. And I know people look at you like, well, what is that? Oh my God. You know, this is a typical example of a vehicle I normally would not be interested in nor want to buy. But then I drive it, and I'm so impressed about the handling and how comfortable it is, it actually begins to seduce you. You know, it's, it's I don't really need a G-Wagon, but I got to admit, it just feels like an S-Class Mercedes. Maybe with a little more tire noise because the tires are so big, but uh, visually it's great. I mean, you know, hardly any blind spots at all. Uh, the nice big windows, plenty of sunlight. You got a sunroof here too as well. So it's uh, this is a pleasant place to spend five or six hours if you're driving up to the mountains to go skiing or do something like that. But, yeah, it's 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 good. I'm, it, I'm stunned. I, as I said, I'm not normally a, a huge Hummer kind of guy or G wagon kind of guy, but this uh, this one will get you. And of course, it's kicked down when you go past the camera car. That's what it's all about. Yeah, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Look at that. And immediately you feel the seat uh, bolsters begin to grab you whenever you accelerate this thing. I have no idea what the gas mileage is on this. But what do you say, a nine-speed transmission? It's got to be pretty good. So let's see, at uh, 50 miles an hour, in ninth gear, you're turning 1,100 RPM. That's barely off idle. So. I guess my mileage is probably better than you would expect. The side bolsters in the in the seat are amazing, you know. Anytime you accelerate or give a little pressure left or right, it, it comes in, it just holds you firmly in place. It's pretty cool. The mid-range on this car, or on this vehicle, is what's most impressive. To move three tons off a standing start, it's impressive. Once it's rolling, you put your foot in it. That's where the acceleration and the torque really come into play. The passing power of this thing is unbelievable. It's like a building going past you, and, uh, when, you when you pass somebody on the road. Uh, but, uh, you know, I, I like it. it it's, it's, it's a Mercedes-Benz. It's got all the Mercedes-Benz things that you would want, the reliability, you know, the style, the whole, you know, the, the build quality. But the sheer power of it, the sheer size of it, uh, it's not intimidating, though. It is. To other drivers, it probably is. See you guys next week. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>